Hey everyone, welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, so, we have unlocked the ultimate kill streak, which is talking to people, uh, and not much else. So, we got, we unlocked a couple new places. I don't want to really talk to Adina again. Adina can kind of suck it. Uh, he can suck it in all the games, but in this game in particular. Oh, hello, ma'am. Ma'am? We've had this discussion, young lady. You're to call me Teresa. Maybe my son didn't have the chance to marry you because of this damn war. But you're still family in my book. Nothing will ever change that. I... Of course, Teresa. I'll come back later during your break if you want. Treat you to lunch. What do you say? I would love that, Teresa. Thank you. Whatever, dude. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the other interesting places. I'm kind of tired of this other garbage. Uh, we could go to the holding area because there's apparently supposed to be people to talk to there, so maybe we'll do that. SSDs, man. to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. Yeah. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, mm -hmm. the dock's authorized to fire. Mm -hmm. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. Nah, it's all good. Also, Mike Latt never supports refugees. Ever. Uh, this... Look, it's the fucking kid. Right there. Last scene on Earth. And he's fucking dead. Oh, good luck with that. Excuse me. What was your name again? Uh... Picard. Christophe Vasser. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm... I'm not in the... Uh... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. That's it? Do you know Leon? No. Conversation fucking over. Oh, you can get an assault rifle Omni Blade. Uh, Please observe all cast restrictions. Some random ass armor. Alright, well, I don't want any of that. Alright, and everybody here smells, so let's go. A little bit more to the right. And there's still nothing here. Man, what a docking bay. It's huge. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Nice, Garrus. You're just gonna just you're just being a dick and just staying here fucking like ordering people around? Wow. You're mad after my own heart. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? 
Our front line units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Can we patch them up? Get them back into the fight? Maybe a few, though it'd be pretty much a death sentence. We're all facing a death sentence. Better a soldier goes down fighting than waited out here. A lot of them would agree, but my people are running low on guns, ammo, transports. We have to ration it out to the troops who are still healthy. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. It's nothing I can't handle. I don't doubt it, but remember to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Oh, Garrus. Alright, I, I think we're done here. I don't think there's anything else going on. So we're gonna run away. I love my jumper. This doesn't seem like a lot of refugees, I'm just gonna say. You know, you know how the media goes. Back in. Oh, he's putting that shit on Galactic TV and whatever. Fuck. Alright. Uh, this looks good, but this also looks good. So let's go to the bar. How's this? Oh, uh, rapid transit. Where, where can I even go? Oh. Like I said, we're not supposed to do Dr. Bryson's lab for quite a while. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Now there's Reapers in the fucking galaxy and this is the shit we're worrying about. Those Cerberus bastards had us. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. And not even sure from where. Fucking hell. And poor Bilal. They didn't have to take him out like that. Brutal. 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 Hey, now you're uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here for the next 48 hours. I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thought. So, um, the bar's over there, and uh. Hey, is the whole squad here? Hey, guys! Um, yeah, we were going to uh, have a guy's night. Uh oh, strippers. <laughs> well, I'm already looking at this place and this can store at least like a thousand more refugees, I'm just saying. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took CSEC three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. 
so sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. I'll talk now. Look who's here. So what's on your mind, Shepard? What's your angle on gaining control of the blood pack? Narl will explain it. If we're going to work together, Shepard, you need to trust me. At least a little. How do we get the Blue Suns on our side? Their leader, Darner Vosk, is a twisted little criminal. I expected his demands to be unreasonable, but it turns out he's the biggest pushover of them all. Talk to him. I'll let you be the judge. Call me if you need to. How am I supposed to talk Bailey into letting Jonas Sedaris out of prison? I've already leaned on the council. Bailey is in direct defiance of their order. So talk to him. One boy scout to another, chain of command and all that crap. Take him to dinner, talk dirty to him, whatever works. What's new with you? That's supposed to be funny? Let's see. I've lost Omega. I got seasick eyes all over me, and I'm holed up in this poor excuse for a nightclub. Can't even get an ovarian rum here. In other words, I'm in hell. Or purgatory. Roll credits. How do you plan on taking Omega back? I think I'm going to employ violence. I'm going to slap Omega right out of the elusive man's greedy little hands. We'll talk later. I'm sure. Oh, uh, well, we gotta go do that one before we leave, I'm sure. Fuck do you guys want? Oh god, no, we didn't see him. I, I, don't, I don't see anyone here that we are familiar with. Fuck, fine. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by a commander. Uh-huh. What would you mean? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. 
There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks. But we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Shepard. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. You know, you know how Miranda was like genetically like enhanced to become like the perfect whatever the fuck? I think James is genetically enhanced to be the most annoying piece of shit ever. Like, he's a dumbass muscle head kind of a shit, like very stereotypical, you know, stuff. I'm not gonna use it to find dance floor. Oh shit. From Omega to Mars. Alright. We're done. So let me uh, look at our handy dandy journal. Uh, Primark, yeah, so strike a pistol. We gotta recover from the strike, strike a bit of a slug, whatever. But this one we're not supposed to do. Eating Prime. So, is there some reason why it doesn't expand at all? Like, there used to be more things of this sort. Right, speak to Commander Bailey's assistant in Presidium Commons, Blue Suns. And, and the Citadel refugee camp. Sorry, my mess wheel. Okay, and then the blood pack guy is in the Presidium con con uh, Commons. All right. All right, so we're gonna go head over to the refugees first, because that's that's how I am. Uh, Mike Lott is a man who is very pro refugee. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Not even Mike Lott himself. Uh, and fuck, I don't want to go here. Uh, let's see. Alright, so. We gotta get the ball to like her, or whatever the fuck. Now, is there a map here? There is a map here. I guess it's. He's at number five. Who are we trying to talk to? Yeah, okay, so he's over there. Okay, alright. It's a, uh, I don't know, whatever. Leader of some bandit faction that we don't care about. Oh, here he is. What the fuck? He's just some bald dude. It's like Professor Xavier. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You won't have to worry about Oraka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Suns trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka. 
No need to candy coat it, Arya. Ah, oh, Shepard. You think you know me so well. I just don't see why you couldn't tell me the details yourself. Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. Alright, where do we do that at? Uh, find a deal with the way of dealing with o Okara. I mean, we don't. We, doesn't really tell us uh, what. Curious. Then contact Commander Bailey over at CSEC. Tell him Garrus Vakarian would consider it a personal favor if he could reallocate the shipment so these people don't starve. Nice. Anyways, uh, I don't know where the fuck this guy is, but I assume he'll be on the one place that I haven't been, which is the, uh, the commons. That's where we have to do, like, I think, like, at least two of them, so let's go do that real quick. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Should be easy enough. Alright, this place looks incredibly large and in charge. Alright, well, we'll start over here then. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Um, thanks? Who was that? The first human specter? Wow, Commander Shepard? He thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment brochure. Maybe we can use someone to stack crates or cook or something. Yep, more meat for the meat grinder. Overcharging for goods. Denying refugees basic services. It seems the Reapers took our culture when they took our world. The Book of Plenix demands charity and forgiveness of debts in times of war. Of course, the Book of Plenix was lost on our home world, and now our people have lost their way. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Uh Oh, just wait a pistol? Eh, that sounds pretty good. Elkos Cerberus Combine. armor. If it exists, we carry it. High, high caliber, yeah, maybe we'll take that one too. Shock and Shredder. Where's this one now? A koi fish? No. Blood dragon armor. Uh, we can get sniper rifle and head scope. Uh, concentration mod, no. Most is just whatever. The pistol stuff was kind of necessary, though. I feel. Why is it high caliber barrel like looks like? Why does it look like a silencer? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these reapers are in. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. If we switch from financial VIs to military gear, we'll lose millions. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. Look, Cyrus, you want to sell your shares and walk fine, but I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. 
We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no, that works. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. Oh, there's Gnarl. I love Gnarl. Also, why is it telling me why Gnarl's here? Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Arya brings him the great commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Gnarl. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and... Try to look like I beat you up or something. If this goes wrong, it's your ass. Quiet! <laughs> I have to look even more powerful than Creek thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this... <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know. Your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Creed. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Creed. Quill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him! Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes! Yes! I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Gnarl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Fuck just booted me out of there? What have I ever done? Alright, what else can we go? Oh, Liara's here somewhere. Awesome, we can talk to that. Or maybe we can't, because we, we don't we don't look at her when we talk to her. What the fuck? Well, I probably should end it off now, so. Uh, next time we'll continue, guys, so take care. Goodbye.